Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of What the Hell Am I Playing? I'm your host Larnon, and today I'm going to be looking at a game called Zombie Driver, which was developed and published by XOR Studios, released on December 4th, 2009. It's an indie title action racer. It is currently $9.99 on Steam. XOR is also responsible for Die in Pain Rest in Peace Warm Up or Dip Rip, which is very fun to say, I have to admit. Um, that was released October 2008, it's also on Steam. It's free because it is a source mod for Half-Life 2, so you do in fact require having Half-Life 2 on your uh, computer in order to be able to run it. Now, there's a DLC for this called Summer of Slaughter, which will give you the Paradise Island Slaughter Map for $1.99. Uh, this game also won Player's Choice for Indie of the Year. It was in Top 10 on IndieDB.com. And without further ado, let's get it started. Cutscenes, no. I have no idea how you managed to survive, son. Voice acting? Alright. Alright, that's, that's enough. Let's kill some Always a good You might say the genre is overdone. You might. And you'd probably be correct. There's some... <laughs> we'll just say some that are done better than others. But... It's always about zombie killing, though. You know, the title's kind of misleading, I have to admit. Because... Am I a zombie? Am I driving a taxi right now? Am I the zombie? Somehow I doubt it, right? BAM! <laughs> Alright. So, that's a good impression already, isn't it? You drive into zombies. It's good shit. And you blow up cars when you hit them. Also good shit. Absolutely nothing wrong with this. Now, their Dip Rip game was also a vehicle combat game with uh, weapon mounts on it. And again, it's free. Um, it's still available. I mean, you can you can find it on Steam pretty easily. I'll pop a link down below if you'd like. And I'm really not surprised to see this come from them. They've also done a couple other things that had nothing to do with zombies at all. They were just casual little puzzle games and stuff that looked uh, pretty cool. Their website will be in the link as well. I'm not even following an objective right now. Like, I know it's there. You can see it on the left there. But I don't even care. So, that's pretty good. To just have fun with the sandbox element of the game and not even really give a crap. So, controls. Oh, it's funny I say that right as I wreck. Controls are fine. Like, seriously, they, they, they really are. There's nothing wrong with this at all right now. You got space as a handbrake, you got the WASD keys to move around and turn. And it seems completely fine to me. I, I don't see anything wrong with these controls at all. Um, graphics options? Now the graphics, I, I like them. They're top down view, it's good stuff. Um, graphics options though? If you want to change these in any way, you're going to have to change them when you open the game on Steam versus being able to go into the options menu f while it's actually up. So just keep that in mind if you want to change your resolution. It was pretty small. I mean, I have a widescreen monitor here, but... Oh! Hey look, an objective is to kill a bunch of zombies. That is a good objective. It's very appropriate for this kind of game. I definitely like the handbrake for those tight turns. Um, it's very responsive. Wow, I'm actually taking some damage here. It's it's pretty responsive, I'll say that. Oh god, they're throwing garbage. Oh, alright. Hmm. Die zombie! Reverse! Forward! Yeah! <laughs> Ooh, 
These guys oh, your cab fare is going to be pretty damn city. high. Mow down as many as you can, son. I'll personally pay you for every single one of them. And do it with style. I'm sure you will, sir. That's just greedy and satisfying and awesome. Every little crunch. Oh, that's a good sound. So yeah, totally, totally family-friendly game, just like their indie puzzle games they've made. Oh, can I get a combo killing offense? <laughs> Probably not. That'd be sweet if I could, though. Is that... Uh, repair? Hooray! I'd totally go to that mechanic if you could do shit that fast, damn. Oh, and that would be a mission. Alright, we'll go a little bit more here. I saw something on the front here. Oh, here's the upgrade screen. I also saw something that uh, said gamepad support, and I looked at the controls for it, and they look fine. So, I got one plugged in. I'm going to pick it up and uh, try to play through it with a control pad, in case you're so inclined. Machine gun, nitro... I want a flamethrower, Dan. <sighs> Why is it locked? That's not fair. Fine, machine gun. And... That'll do. That'll do. So we'll go through another mission here. I'm gonna bust out the uh, old reliable gamepad. See how it goes. Gotta figure out the controls for it. Uh, there's forward. Where's the brake? That's the brake. Alright, so A's the brake by default. What the hell's reverse? Left trigger. Okay, gas is right. That appears to be ammo. How the hell do I fire it? Ah, X. Alright. That works for me. It's strange, it's actually a little bit hard to get used to using a gamepad. There's nothing wrong with it, I just... I don't particularly want to use a gamepad when I'm playing a computer game, if I can help it. But there's just some things that are so much better. And you can get them a lot cheaper, too, you know. That's the magic of the PC world, and Steam. Lord knows I've spent enough money on Steam. <laughs> That's sweet. That just feels awesome. Oh, I'm gonna run out of ammo, aren't I? Probably shouldn't waste it on trash. But I really want to. I don't want to just do objectives. Man, screw the objectives. Oh, this is one. Alright. Kill more zombies as an objective. That is a great objective. I'm out of ammo. Oh. I wasted it. Balls. Balls, balls. At least I can still drive into them, though. Very, very recklessly. Can I just do a donut? Yeah. Yeah. That's a bloody good donut. Get it? See what I do? Okay, I'm done. Sorry. One more! It's a dog. Alright. Pardon me. It's totally my parking spot. Wow. I always thought the army would come to rescue us. But hell, a taxi is even more rad. Just get us out of here. Take the keys to my ride. I hope you can squash some of those zombies with it. What? Another car? Oh, look at that thing. Can I... Can I get in it? No? Nope. And apparently it's not destructible either. That'd be pretty funny if they were like, Dude, here's this new car for you to drive in, and then you were smashed into it and you couldn't play it for the rest of the game. <laughs> Failed? 
What did I do? I'm not paying much attention to anything else. Gotta be honest, I'm just kind of having fun. So yeah, it's it's very fun. We'll just put it that way. I'm going back to, yeah, maybe the genre is overdone. Eh. If you do it right, who really gives a shit, you know? Oh, I thought it was over. It's not over. There's so many games about zombie killing, too. Makes me wonder if they could release a game that was about, like, domesticating your pet zombie. I don't think it would be nearly as interesting, though. And then again, you look at a movie like Shaun of the Dead, that totally made me want a zombie friend. You could, like, play Xbox with him and beat him at something, and he just, like, tries to eat your brain. You're like, no, I kind of need that. I'm sorry, you can't have it. That'd be good times. I would name him Fred. I don't even know if that was part of the movie or not, but that's what I would name him, Fred. Doesn't matter what his name was before, he's Fred after he's a zombie. Yeah, this is fun as hell. For ten bucks, it's quite fun. DLC for two, two bucks. Good stuff. I'm happy with my purchase. <laughs> I'm still not even going towards objectives. I'm like barely getting there. And this city, this, this whole map seems pretty big too. I have to say. So that's good at least. And you can kind of navigate it any damn way you want to. So I'm also pretty happy with that. And this is just stupid awesome fun. I recommend it. Thank you for watching.